Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, and I hope you enjoyed that opening scene there. Uh, this was a whole lot of fun to make. It took some time to uh, figure out, because as far as I can tell, nobody has ever put a lightsaber on a bow. There's plenty of people out there that made lightsabers, and I got some ideas from them, but overall, this was you know strictly my idea. I really had to put in the time to make this happen and actually make it attached to the bow. So now I'm going to break down for you what you need to make your own uh, bow lightsaber. So the first thing you're going to need to make your lightsaber is a piece of plastic. So conveniently, if you shoot X10s, they send you a really nice plastic tube that the X10s come in. So you can repurpose this tube to make it work for your bow lightsaber. Um, if you don't happen to have an X10 tube laying around, um, either one, contact a friend, or you're going to go and have to find a suitable sized uh, tube online. Probably somewhere around about an inch of inner diameter. Next up, you're going to need LEDs. Uh, these are the LEDs I used for this build. Um, it was convenient that you could have them change uh, to a variety of colors and uh, it was nice because then I could have a blue lightsaber, a green, a purple, a red. Uh, we'll illustrate that even better later in the video. But uh, this is what you get. You get the LEDs. And a nice roll there. And then under that is the adapter. So if you don't have a battery pack and a way to hook this up, you can technically have it on your bow, but you need to be plugged into the wall. So I took this a, you know, an additional step. I added a battery pack onto my bow in order to have the LEDs run without having to be plugged into the wall, because that kind of takes the fun out of it. And then uh, in this little box, there's the uh, controller. And then the input output. So you get your you know your power through here. This is going to detect the uh, the signal from the controller telling it what uh, color to change. This plugs into the LED strip that's in your bow lightsaber. The next thing you're going to need is some packaging tape or something along those lines. You're going to need the packaging tape to wrap the LED strips up in your pretty opaque uh, packaging material to diffuse that LED light. So since you need all this tape to make this project happen, you also need some scissors to cut that tape. Another additional item you will need is a drill gun and a drill bit. I used a 1964 uh, drill bit here so that I could drill into the plastic cap here right in the center, and then I was able to mount that to my bow with a screw. Um, of course, I'm gonna show you all this so you can see how I did it, and maybe you can come up with your own way that's a little more efficient than mine. Now that we have the two main parts taken care of, the blade itself and the LEDs that are going to make it your favorite lightsaber color, now you need something to you know, give it some internal structure. Yes, the arrow uh, tube is taken care of like the real structure, you know, it's rigid, but you need something that's going to diffuse the LED's light so it looks more solid, especially when the lighting conditions get darker, it looks really cool, you don't see the individual LED's, it just looks like a solid uh, blade of either, you know, blue, red, green, your color of choice. So um, this isn't bubble wrap, it's kind of some kind of foam, it's a packing material, you could probably pick up some at Home Depot. I had this laying around my house, so I don't know exactly where you can pick it up, but I would, I would think uh, a store like that, or maybe like a UPS store, you should be able to get your hands on some. You don't need a lot, um, obviously you want the length of your blade, so if you're doing like the full arrow tube, these are about uh, 32 inches, I didn't measure it, but uh, you know, however long you make your arrow 
tube or uh, lightsaber blade is how much uh, in length you're going to need of your packaging material and you just need enough to be able to wrap the LEDs in it a few times. I'm going to show you all of this so you can get an idea of uh, you know how I made this work. So if you haven't figured it out already I had to cut these LEDs in order to get them into this aero tube because uh, this was a lot of LEDs. Uh, I don't know if it exactly says here. I want to say it's like 10 feet of, of LEDs. So uh, that's a lot more than what I needed for this project. So you're going to want some electrical tape handy. One, because electrical tape in general is black. So it blends in really well. Some parts of the LED controller are white. So you can cover them up really well with the black electrical tape. And two, um, you don't want any loose connections because that's just going to make a mess and you're going to get short circuits and yeah, you, you, don't, want to, you don't want to deal with that. So it's, it's always good to wrap everything up nice and safe with some electrical tape. So one additional thing uh, you will probably need in making this uh, happen is an arrow. So here is my bow and as you can see there is, well, there is an arrow right here. Um, I needed this because there is not enough strength um, where the plastic tube and the end cap meet to support the length of this uh, lightsaber. So if you make a shorter one, you could probably, oh, there we go, we have a loose connection somewhere. <laughs> you can probably make it work without an arrow in it. Um, I put an arrow in it, it made it so much stronger. I was able to fit it into uh, where I mounted this to my bow. Um, as I take this apart, you're going to be able to see that a lot more clearly. Also, if you do want to make it um, you know, outlet free and have this uh, thing mobile, you're going to need some kind of battery pack, either with a USB out or a, uh, a regular just output. Okay, so now let's take off the battery pack first. I just uh, electrical taped all this on. It made it easy. It's pretty clean. No uh, sticky residue or anything. So we got one battery pack. And now we're going to work on the actual uh, lightsaber part of this. So I'm, I'm taking off the controller here that takes the input from the handheld. So when you want to change your colors, it also uh, you know has a plug-in for the power. Next up, we gotta take this off, if I can ever find the end. There we go. Okay, so there's the controller right there. Controller. Um, this, uh, this, is, this is a bit uh, sometimes out of people's league because it did require to do a little, you know, Frankensteining here. Um, so to make this work for using this battery that I had, I uh, I didn't have an extra USB laying around, but I had extra uh, ones of these connections. I'm sorry, I don't know the official name. So instead of just cutting it off of the uh, power supply that came with this LED uh, kit. I just took two that I already had, attached them together, and then that way I can plug it into this and into my battery without a problem. Also, as a note, this battery is uh, available in 12 volt and 9 volt. So you can run it at 9 volts, it's not going to be as bright. 12 volts is recommended because it's, it's rated for a 12 volt power supply. Okay, so here is the beginning of our mission. So we're going to put the bow aside for now. And we're going to focus on the blade part of our bow lightsaber. So first off, the arrow I used, I used a Easton ACC because it fit very well into the mounting hole of my stabilizer on my bow here.
so one arrow. Uh, next up is the LED strips itself. Um, I made a little mistake when I was putting mine together. I accidentally uh, pulled the connections off of the LED, so we had to do a little solder job to put them back on. So, of course, mine's already in the arrow tube, so I'm going to have to go and cut that so I can take this out for you guys. Okay, so there we go. One arrow tube. And <laughs> here is the, the, the bow lightsaber. Um, I'm going to go and cut this open now. As you can hopefully see, this is wrapped in packaging tape. That's an attempt to keep this packaging material down. Um, it was quite a fight, so you really just want to use a ton of packaging tape to make this work and you know work it into a circular shape so that it fits pretty well into your square arrow tube. So I finally managed to cut my way into this. I really did use a lot of uh, packaging tape. But um, hopefully you can see even the LEDs themselves are quite, uh, quite taped up. And you can see how I rolled it up into here. Now, as a note, this is one single uh, piece of LED strip. So it starts here with this connector. It runs all the way up and then this end here is just bent so I ran it as far as I could until I hit one of these uh, copper sections because these sections here you actually it actually has a little pair of scissors you can cut there well I didn't want to cut at the very end at the time I had no way of connecting it back to the bottom so I just had it wrap around which I think is the smarter way to do it anyway and then it wraps around, goes all the way back down to the end down here, and that's when I cut it away from the rest of the roll. Uh, now, the rest of the roll isn't completely useless. I can use it for something else. If I wanted to be able to change colors, I would need to get a, a separate controller or take the controller from this and use it on, uh, you know, whatever the next project is. So. That is just a little side note. Um, you could technically add four pieces of wire to this and then hook up another uh, LED strip to this strip. As long as it's the same brand, you should be able to control the colors. Uh, I have not tried that though, so don't quite quote me on it. So hopefully you can see uh, how that was done. And it is really easy, especially since hopefully this video is fairly uh, easy to follow so that you can be able to replicate this a lot quicker than it took me to actually make this. So this is going to be uh, taken out of the way now because I made a mess of that. <laughs> uh, we won't need that. Uh, for the most part there, there isn't going to be any soldering involved unless you damage something so if you're not a soldering expert you should be able to get around it. Um, maybe not as much if you're looking to run this with a battery pack as opposed to plugging it into your wall or something. Then you may want to solder. You could technically just twist the wires together and put uh, you know, the black electrical tape on them. Is it the best way to do it? No. Um, but you, you could technically do it that way. Okay, so now I want to show you how I got this to mount to my bow. So the best way to show you, if I can actually get this off, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, we did it. Thanks, everybody. That was that was great teamwork. I can I can hear your support from the other side. Okay, so the V bars are going to come with it, and voila, there it is. This is why you need the drill bit. So you drill a hole into the cap on your arrow tube. And then you just go and feed the bolt in. Uh, this is just like a, a stabilizer bolt. So if you're running like a really thick V-bar 
or something along those lines. You, you should actually probably have one with your stabilizer. Worst case, I guess you could, you could take the bolt out of your actual stabilizer and then go and use that bolt to help you mount it to your bow. But as you can see, it fits right back in here. So this just, this just came with my stabilizer. So that was a really easy uh, way to attach this to, uh, that was a, a really easy way to attach this bow lightsaber to my bow. So we're going to screw that back into there. Looks pretty good. Um, again, back to the arrow. I put the arrow in there because I needed some structural support because I was having uh, issues where the weight from the end would cause this to droop really bad and it, yeah, it, didn't, it did not look great. So I needed that to really stiffen this up. And as you can see, it's, it's doing it. Even without you know, anything in this tube, you can see how the arrow is holding up this, uh, this plastic tube. Take that out, take the arrow out. And then it's easy from there. You saw how I unscrewed it. All you do is just feed it back in. And just like you would be putting on your regular stabilizer, you just tighten that down. And then from there, once you have it all the way tightened down, you would just go through you know, the reverse of... So once you have this tightened down, you can go and add everything to your, uh, your bow. So this is, this is definitely, this is your foundation. It's, pretty, it's a pretty solid foundation. I feel like I set you guys up pretty well for doing this yourself. Um, you would then go and put your LED strip that's already wrapped up in the packaging uh, material. You would go and put this into your uh, arrow tube. Feed your arrow underneath. Stick it on there. Make sure your wires are sticking out. You may want to drill a hole in your arrow tube. Slide that down and then go and hit it real good with the uh, electrical tape. You'll have your wire hanging out then at that point. Uh, this wire. This wire will be hanging out. You'll attach it to the white one. And then you're going to want to attach this to your bow. And from there you have your bow lightsaber. So there you have it. That's how you build a bow lightsaber. Um, overall, it's it's a pretty easy build. You know, there may be some soldering involved and things like that, but uh, it was a lot of fun and it's super cool, especially when it gets a little bit darker outside or if you're inside. You know, the sun's so strong, it really uh, it really uh, beats up the uh, the LEDs. But uh, besides that, I think it looks really great. And the fact that you can go and just change colors to whatever you want um, is a really nice option. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting.